Valley fever is widespread and growing across Kern County, and the medicine to treat it comes with a side effect that some say is more painful than the illness itself. Eyewitness News reporter Emma Goss explains how a local business is helping those people. Emma? Dave Rochelle, for many people who get diagnosed with valley fever, they're given an antifungal medication and are greeted with side effects that they never saw coming. This is one of my most popular. Kelly Giblin opened Lemonade Lock's Wig and Gift Boutique four years ago inside Adventist Health's Cancer Treatment Center. Her wigs were so popular, they attracted Brenda Blanton. And then I liked this one too. I this one just came in just for the fun of it. She wanted to have some fun with wigs. We developed a great friendship. Their bond grew stronger last March when Blanton was diagnosed with valley fever and her medicine, fluconazole, caused her a number of painful side effects. My lips cracked and bled, then my nose bled a little. The worst, she said, was loss of her hair, eyebrows, and lashes. The minute I knew I was that my hair actually started coming out, I called her and I said, help, I'm coming in. I really don't have any hair right now. Giblin says she's seen a recent surge in customers like Blanton, who lost their hair while taking the medication to treat their valley fever. So I do Fortunately for Blanton, after stopping the medication a few weeks ago, her hair is growing back. We can offer you a bridge from losing your hair to getting your hair back. We can get you through that traumatizing experience. Blanton's wig put a smile on her face. It's not just a vanity thing, it's just you want, you want to look your best. I'm getting it for myself. And, and lifted my a weight off her shoulders. That was a big relief. It takes that worry off of you and you can worry about the important stuff. Lemonade Locks wigs are all synthetic and priced between 80 to upward of $200. Reporting in studio, Emma Goss, Eyewitness News.